heart soft. Okay, hey everyone, uh, Tony Winston here with Classical Piano Workshop. But today we're going to work on uh, the first song in Suzuki Piano Book 3, which is the Clementi Sonatina. And I'm going to go right to the second page, the development section. Uh, let's go over the left hand. F, E flat. Next part. And then you're back to the main theme. So now let's do the right hand of the B, of the B section. You want to start that softly, build it up, and then bring it back down again. So softly at first. And end softly. Okay. Then the next part. Now, I've had many students that aren't able to reach this octave. So if you can't reach it, you're going to have to kind of bounce like this. And that's perfectly okay. And also, I would suggest maybe not playing it as loud as the book tells you to. It doesn't have to be loud there. It can be soft. Especially the right hand, because the melody is more in the left hand. So maybe make that a little bit louder. Okay, now, here we are at the main theme again. Pretty easy. So um, one place that's a little tricky is when you're doing this upside down theme, when you're going like this. So there's some cool fingering here that you should do. Four, three, two. Okay, that's one place. And then right here, <clears throat> those two staccato notes, three and five are best, all right? Most students play four there accidentally, but it's really best to put three and five there. Like that. And then, okay, now practice your scales every day because they will help you play this piece better. You know, when you're practicing scales, you want every note to sound exactly like the other notes. So you don't want this, you know, some loud and some soft. You want to listen for an even tone. Okay. Unless, of course, you're doing maybe a crescendo, which you could do there. Start soft, and then get loud as you go to the top. Okay, and then this is a lot like the first page. All right, uh, the left hand, is the notes are separate here. All right, so you're coming down, starting on your fifth finger up here. Cross with your four. Got to do that. So you end on your thumb here. So watch the tricky fingering there at the end. One, and then it's this four, two, three, one. Four, two, three, one. No, that's not it. <clears throat> Four, two, three, one, four, two, three, one. And practice that little spot there at the end. Keep your hand way up over the keys like this. Like that. Okay, have fun and uh, hope to see you soon. <laughs>